Alright folks, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create player highlight effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now this video is inspired by the Bundesliga YouTube channel. If you have seen their player tactical analysis videos, you can see that they use this similar effect, uh, the spotlight or the highlight effect inside of their videos. We're going to do something similar using DaVinci Resolve. Right, so let's get going. I have this clip over here. I'm going to be using this uh, video to demonstrate how you can create this animation. And so let's go to the fusion page and we have our media in and media out after the media in click on it and hit shift spacebar and type in tracker and click on add then after you add the tracker then you will notice that you have these two boxes over here i'm going to select this square thing over here click and hold and you can just move it on any player that you want to track so i'm going to highlight this player so i'm just going to put this tracker on his uh, let's say jersey number over here and you can just reduce the search radius to help uh, with tracking so you can just reduce the search radius like so and now uh, what you have to do is just come over the right side in the inspector uh, make sure you are at the very first frame you can see we are at the frame zero right now and now i'm going to just click on this uh, icon that says track forward from current time click on it and then davinci resolve will automatically track this footage and you can see that it is finished tracking you might want to go back and see if the tracking has been done or not so you can see that i think at this frame uh, there is some issue with the tracking you can see this point jumping suddenly so i'm going to just go to that frame and move this point back where it should be and then also i can see right over here after the after he scores the goal we can see that uh, we lose the tracking data right at this frame and that is because um, resolve or fusion cannot see uh, this particular this particular um, number or this particular data in the image so that's why uh, we lose this tracking data so we can just easily fix this by moving it onto the player and you can just go to the next frame click on this icon or this right arrow to jump to the next frame and you can just you know keep on moving it on to that player all right so once you do that then uh, all you have to do is then go to the operation and under operation we have to select match move and that will allow us to uh, add graphics to this tracker so now what we can do is we can create a simple highlight effect so let's just do that the highlight graphic so i'm going to drag in the background node let's view this and i'm going to change the color to white like so and on this background one we can add in a rectangle mask just um, change the size like so and i'm just going to add in a little bit of soft edge to this like so and then just simply connect this background one to the tracker like that and if you take a look at it this is what we have uh, you can see now this graphic will be tracked inside the video but the position is not correct in this one so uh, let's go to the tracker one first and then uh, what we can do is we have the apply mode over here i'm going to click and choose overlay and then we can also go to the settings and reduce the blend amount like so if you think that it is too bright you can just control the blend right over here and then on this background one we can just add in a transform node like so and change the position and just put it on that uh, player that we tracked so i'm gonna put it right over there and you can notice that we have some harsh edge at the bottom we can easily fix this by going into the rectangle a node over here and just change the center y just move it up like so and it will fix it you can go to the transform one again and just bring it down like so and also i'm going to go to the rectangle over here i think that the soft edge is a bit too much i'm going to reduce that and also reduce the width as well like so and you can add as many graphics as you want so for example if you want to add more uh, let's say we want to uh, add in a background node like so and add in an ellipse to this again i'm going to change the color make it white and we can just 
uh, reduce the size of this like so and instead of solid i'm going to um, add in a border width like that right now what we want to do is we want to add this graphic that we have over here onto this footage but as you can see we don't have uh, another input for this tracker one we just have this effect mask so i can just copy and paste this tracker one and I can just connect this uh, graphic to this new tracker one. And now again, we need to add in a transform. Click on add transform. And we can just uh, make sure we are at the very first frame. Let's go to the single view over here. And I'm going to just put it under the player, the shape. And I just want to change the aspect. So let's just uh, change that and kind of make it flat like so and you can also reduce the size and all that stuff right over here and you can add another graphic uh, you can add text or anything that you want maybe you can add overlays to this uh, like a sci-fi hud overlay but yeah the possibilities are quite endless you can just play this and see how it looks and yeah there you go that's how you can create a player highlight effect inside of davinci resolve I hope this video is helpful. Hope it will help you in your upcoming projects. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.